Last year's Sonic Mania was a superb return to form for one of gaming's most enduring icons, and Sega has now delivered even more Sonic in the form of Sonic Mania Plus, which you can get as either DLC or a bundle. But before you get fanatical over the prospect of more Sonic Mania, temper your expectations. The new content isn't all up to the same standard. One major addition in Sonic Mania Plus involves a pair of vaguely familiar faces from an obscure arcade game called Sega Sonic the Hedgehog, Mighty the Armadillo, and Ray the Flying Squirrel. Mighty has a ground pound that can shatter barriers and even bypass certain enemy defenses, and his shell renders him invulnerable to spikes while attacking. Meanwhile, Ray has a gliding ability that allows him to soar over long stretches of a stage. It's a neat ability, but only in some areas, because using it in more cramped levels is quite challenging. The other big addition, Encore Mode, is honestly somewhat disappointing. The concept of cycling through the characters each time you die is neat, but there's not much new content here. The new pinball-themed bonus stage is cute at first, but quickly turns into a war against some very irritating physics. The old stages don't have many major differences, and you barely get any new stages, save for a near-exact transplant of Angel Island Zone 1 from Sonic 3, though Mirage Saloon 1 sort of counts too. And annoyingly, you can only swap control between the two characters you have on screen even when you have a full cast, which limits exploration potential. Also, unless you know the original Sonic Mania stages inside and out, you probably won't notice many big differences in the levels other than the placement of the special stage rings, which are still a total pain to find. And when you do find them, the special stages start out brutal from the get-go and don't get any easier, so be prepared for a lot of frustration since you have to search for them again after every attempt. There are a couple other enhancements worth noting, though. Certain boss fights have thankfully been tweaked to make it easier to understand how to do damage and avoid cheap deaths, and some encounters see very cool major changes we won't spoil here. Competition mode also supports anywhere from two to four players, leading to fast, fun multiplayer races. Overall, while Sonic Mania Plus is more of a good thing and worth grabbing if you missed the original outing, it's hard not to feel somewhat let down that the encore isn't nearly as stunning as the first set. For more, check out 13 minutes of Sonic Mania Plus gameplay, then watch our review of the original Sonic Mania and our unboxing of the very cool Collector's Edition. And for everything else, stick with IGN.